COVID-19 and social distancing put a hold on the showings at this Broswell gem, but now Ann Jackson Gallery is open for business. Hi everyone, happy Friday. I'm Tran Bowie, live on location at the beautiful Ann Jackson Gallery. Take a look at this space. It is so stunning. The lighting is beautiful. You're seeing all kinds of artwork and we are practicing social distancing. There's plenty of room to walk around. Joining me now is Valerie. We, she says, Valerie from the gallery, so that helps me remember. This is Valerie Jackson. Thank you so much for allowing us to come here. This is actually our first virtual art tour. We're gonna we're gonna try to social distance, but um, I will move my mic over. So this is a family business. It's been open for 50 years, so it's an institution. I call it a gem because you've been here for a long time. So tell me, your this was your mother's. Um, I started the business in 1971, and I've had it for 40 years, and it's been a family business uh, to sell the artwork of my uh, sisters, and um, my sister Mary works with me, another sister's an interior designer. There's eight kids in the family. They've all been involved in the business over all the years. Are you an artist as well? No. <laughs> Cannot draw a stick figure. I don't want to. I just love interacting with people and, and um, meeting the wonderful artists and hosting our shows, things like that. Well, your art is your style. I love, I love everything you're wearing and the jewelry. So tell me, what kind of artist was Ann Jackson? And she was a very traditional artist. She was very inspired by the Impressionists, Monet probably. She traveled to France and painted over there, and her work was just really warm and, and floral and landscapey. There's a nice piece of hers right there, actually. Oh, the brown, yeah. The brown one? Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Um, so she painted places that she loved and that she traveled to, and then they lived on Tybee Island. So they, she painted a lot of uh, moon shots and beach scenes and marshes. So that's where that got started. So. Well, it's beautiful. The traditional still is timeless in it price. Is timeless. It is very timeless. But we're more of a transitional gallery now. So we try to carry something for everybody's taste and style and everybody's budget. So we have local, national, and international painters. And of course, our big claim to fame is our, the wonderful collection of the art of Dr. Seuss. Yeah, we're going to take a look. Come with us. We're going to walk through and show you as much as we can. And for those at home, you might want to take notes and then call Valerie um, and tell her the piece that you would like to have for your home or your office. Also makes a great gift. Let so art go out, you know, on approval for you to live with it every few days to make sure it works for you. And then we custom frame everything for your style. That's wonderful. So let's start in this room. And, and while we walk through, tell me how has COVID-19 affected your business? Well, just like everybody else, it kind of put a halt to everything. So we worked really hard keeping our name out there on social media. We had private appointments here at the gallery. Um, we kept ourselves in the, in the face of everybody while they were working from home. No, I think it's great, and I've been keeping up with all your social media, and it's just beautiful. Okay, so let's keep walking through here. Um, so tell me, you were talking about some of the works. Now, talk about these pieces right here. This is Bob Ictor. Um, we have carried his work for probably almost 40 years. Um, he paints uh, pastels on suede is what he's really known for, but he has branched out, and he's now doing work on canvas. And let's keep walking. I love this piece right here. Tell me about this. This is an artist from Florida. Um, she, a lot of her work sells really well in Europe, believe it or not. We've had her work about a year or so, okay. and her colors are just happy and bright, warm. I know. That's what we need right now. Yes, we and we're going to keep walking. All right. Come back here. I love that you have all this space. So you also... Use this space for a special event. Mm -hmm. We certainly do. We can accommodate 130 people. We have plenty of parking, which doesn't cost a thing to park here. Um, the space is, is about 4,500 square feet. A lot, and it's just, it's very easy to configure the gallery in all different ways with our moving walls and whatnots. Yeah. So I'm going to show you. So here's, here's one of the moving walls. So if you were having an event, you yeah, could move. Just push it around. You could have a band in here dancing. We've had casino parties in here, yoga classes. We've had uh, we sponsored part of the music festival of Roswell. So we had three or four different musicians come through, and we just have a lot of fun here. Oh, this space is gorgeous, and you just you don't you have all this natural lighting. So let's come on over here. Yes, yes, yes. 
So tell us about these. This, this little artist here, she's lovely. She is from Raleigh, North Carolina, and she works a lot with textures and fabric. So some of her paintings actually have cloth attached to them. Okay. And let's come on over here to the larger pieces. Christina Doling. Christina Doling. She is a Roswell artist. We've had her work for 30, 40 years. And she was featured in Arts and Antiques magazine as one of the emerging artists in the United States. And she's probably one of the best abstract artists I've ever seen. No, it's stunning. It's stunning. And you know, the thing about art is that we can probably go to any store and find art and cheap art. Um, why is it so important to invest in art? Well, first of all, you're supporting your artist community and you're supporting your local businesses and you're getting an original, a one of a kind. You're not getting a mass produced reproduction that hangs in th millions of homes. You have something special. And when you purchase something from our gallery, there's a story that goes with it. You know about the artist. You know what went into the piece. We have shows for our artists. You can come and meet the artists that you love to purchase and enjoy. And speaking of art, this is kind of a lost art over here. You, yes, you offer the framing. So come on over here. Um, we do custom framing in-house here in the gallery. So you just bring your pieces in and we'll, we'll work something up that makes your piece look like a million dollars for a very good price. So we can come over here and look um, at these pieces. These are artists, local artists as well. And there's about 20 different artists from this group here. So there's a huge selection of works on canvas and works on paper. And um, most of these artists do commission pieces. So if you needed a special size, special colors, we put it all together for you. And I love that you still have people coming in. Um, so tell me how that is working. So you're having to schedule appointments and our walk-in no, still? No, we're open, open. Um, during the COVID, we were scheduling appointments. And we, I was up here a couple times a day. So people still wanted to come in and enjoy the art and take something home to make them feel good. Well, it's making me feel good being in here. So this is a really cute space over here. I love this, um, a little, little sitting area. Yes, this is lovely. Um, this is um, the front of the gallery, obviously. And this jewelry is by the artist we just talked about, Christina Doling. So these are original paintings that you can wear. Okay. Yeah. I need a closer look. I'm loving the jewelry. Take a look at that. Awesome. So these are great gifts. People don't think about that. So if, if, even if you can't have you know, a new piece in your home, these make great gifts. I love that a lot of real estate agents are now purchasing art to for the Give to the homeowner when they purchase a house. It's a really nice gift to have. Yeah, because when you look up, it's like, oh, I remember, you know, that's, those are moments. That's exactly right. So it's just, we have something for everybody in this gallery. You don't even have to be a collector. Hopefully you'll become one. Right, <laughs> right. So, and then let's come on back here. Oh, and I love this. This look. is the same artist that did the pastels over there. You wouldn't think so. These are called uh, reverse plexiglass. Stunning. Very difficult. And he what is this that? Well. This is resin. So he hand painted everything. The, the, they're not real fish, but he made the fish and hand painted them. And this takes weeks and weeks and weeks to create. I mean, oh my so goodness! so cool. That looks so real. Doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> All right, so we're going to come over here. More. So this, it just keeps going. It keeps going. It's a very large space, and everywhere you turn, there's something fabulous to look at. Look at this. Come over here. Which ones? I love this birthday party. This is called the party animals. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. This one here. And then this is Mackenzie Thorpe. This is Mackenzie Thorpe. Hang on just a minute. from England. And he grew up very dyslexic, so he was abused and beaten, and he was told he was worthless. And he turned his life around, and, and his art says it all. They each have a story of the hardships in his life. Wow. Yeah. And, this, and he did this piece also, the sculpture? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what is the story behind this? The story well, behind this? This is him. And then if you notice, a lot of these pieces don't have a face. See, no face, no face, because he felt so worthless. He was told he was worthless. So this is probably his daughter. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the, piece, the people in his pieces are his friends or family. And uh, he just keeps bringing them back to life with his paintings and his sculpture. Wow, and it just evokes so much emotion. I love, I love that. And this is so cute. This is, this is called this Crossing the Sea of Love. So he moved to America to educate his kids. 
So this is him coming across the ocean on a sea of hearts. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize those yeah, were hearts. hearts. Yeah. And the no face again. Mm -hmm. And the pooch. Everybody loves the dog. <laughs> I know. That is so cute. And then you have these other rooms. Yeah. I love these pieces. This is kind of a mix in here. This is the artist from Florida. And, and this is doling again. And then this is another sculpture by Mackenzie Thorpe behind you there. So that's really all there is to talk about in this room. <laughs> okay, this, we saved this for last. This is a Dr. Seuss room. This, this is, is a Dr. Seuss room. It's a small part of our big, big collection. We have over 150 pieces of Dr. Seuss depicting 70 years of his career from the 30s to right up before he died in 91. So you will recognize in here the book illustrations that we're all familiar with. But what I love about this collection is his private art that he painted at night for stress relief. And he never showed them to anybody. He never sold them. So nobody knew about these until after he died. So everyone has a story. Now, the, the taxidermies, he grew up, uh, his dad was a zookeeper, so he grew up going to, to the zoo every day after school. And when he grew up and moved away, his dad started sending him animal parts from the zoo. Oh, and wow. He got his plaster out of the closet and brought these creatures back to life. So he used real animal parts with his with his plaster and gave them all fun names and most of them are smiling at you and happy and they're inviting you in what's that bird over there that what's the antelovian grackler oh. <laughs> i love that bird Just his names are fabulous this is the goo goo eyed tasmanian wall oh. this is the two-horned druberhanus and the list just goes on and we have all of we have the whole collection so of all your artwork, what would you say is the most sought after? Dr. Seuss. And how often do you have shows? People can come in and look at we it. We have a show at least once a year, and then I travel. I take this collection on the road to cities that don't have the galleries with the Dr. Seuss, and it's just a, it's huge. Wow. It's huge. So, like, we celebrated his 115th birthday last March. So that's always a fun. Then we always have a Christmas around a Christmas time show with the Grinch outside in the whole nine yards. So okay. we're going to sit an event here. Well, I, well, you have the space for it. Yes. So we're going to end out here okay. where the beautiful bright light, we're going to wrap up okay. over here. Um, behind us, the beautiful flowers. Yeah. Okay, so tell us about this. Well, this is Dr. Seuss here. Mm -hmm. This is called... This or, or this, 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 well, this is called Love of Music, and he, his mother and him were very close, and she taught him how to play the piano and the violin and the guitar, so this depicts the time with his mom when he was growing up, and it's got the Grinchy hands, and, and he loves to put architectural aspects in a lot of his work, so you see that. This is a new piece, so it's, it's, it's at the bottom price right now. Wow. I know, and we grew up with Dr. Seuss, but just I love learning this new stuff about him. Oh, and know. tell us about these pieces. Uh, this is Scott Harris, and he is from South Carolina, and these are paintings on metal. And they actually move, <laughs> and they change color as the day goes on, just because of the way they're formulated. Oh, it's stunning. And he does commission pieces, too. So if you wanted something of Marietta or Atlanta or New York or whatever. He, or Roswell. Or Roswell. He creates it for you. Yes, exactly. Well, this is wonderful. Thank you so much for having us. We're going to have our viewers take one last look. We have some people who are here. So it is safe to come. Help me out. So it did. It's. It is safe to come and visit and, and call ahead if you need to. Um, let's talk about your next big event. Well, we're going to have Pete the Cat. We're very excited to have this artist here. He is just big. Um, he's got this wonderful creative cat. He's got a lot of published children's books out. He has a huge following, and I'm really excited to be bringing him here to the gallery in the end of August. So that's the end of August. Do you have a date yet? Uh, tentative so we'll just leave it at end of August but you'll be hearing about it oh you'll be hearing about it from us too we'll be we'll, we will be here and then in in probably oh, November we'll be having our big Dr. Seuss Christmas party all right we'll unveil new pieces when we have a show so 
Okay, so we will have all those dates here. I personally, you know, my children are now teenagers. I remember, of course, I still love Dr. Seuss, Pete the Cat. I've, I'm like a huge fan. You are, so you know who this artist is. I do know who this artist yeah, is. Wait, I'm going to go meet him in, in a couple of weeks. He lives in Statesboro. He knows of our gallery. He loves our gallery and is a big fan of Dr. Seuss. So awesome. It's be really interesting. So I have, you know, so our viewers out there, I think that, you know, COVID-19 and the quarantine really affected a lot of local businesses. And Ann Jackson Gallery, we, you know, it's been here for a long time. So you may not have thought like, oh, this is a business that could have been affected by it, but it is. Um, the doors were closed and people were not purchasing art, but we're hoping that now that things are starting to open up again and people are making purchases again that you consider Ann Jackson Gallery, whether yes, it's a piece you. for your home, your office. Just stop in to say hello. You know, 50 years we hoped we know everybody, but we want to meet some new folks that have come into Roswell, so. Well, awesome, thank you. Thank you for all you do for your community. My pleasure, thank you. Thanks everyone, have a wonderful Friday. Share, like, and comment below.